Hello all, Pit Bike Mike. So, as some of you have seen, I have recently hit 500 subscribers, which, let's be honest, it's pretty awesome. Because uh, that means I'm halfway there to mono hopefully mono to ugh. You know, it really would be nice if I could actually learn how to speak sometimes. But that is a topic for another discussion. Uh, so, almost halfway to monetization. So, for a 500 subscriber special, I am going to be introducing something. So, without further ado, it may shock some, may not, you never know. But, boom, look at that. What we have here is a 2017 Harley Davidson Heritage Classic. It has the 103 in it. Um, look at that beautiful two-tone blue with like that, like, it's kind of hard to see, but there's like a little ghosted, uh, you know, like, uh, like, not like pinstriping, but something like that. So, I picked this bike up used, by the way, if it, the 2017 part didn't give it away. Got it for a phenomenal deal. It, uh, when I want to go and look at it, because this is a brand new bike, let's, let's be honest, because it only had 650 miles on it. Pretty cool, right? And it is a full stage one. Intake. Vance and Hine pipes. And it has a software tune on it to give it just that little extra something something. So I picked it up. They put brand new tires and tubes on it because the tires were, you know, old. But hey, you know, I got new tires on practically a new bike. You know, can't really complain. I'll admit, I'm not the biggest fan of all the chrome. But you know what? Beggars can't be choosers because I've got such a good deal on this that... I really can't complain. Because like a new one of these is like $24,000. Yeah, I got this for like $9,000 cheaper. Which, you know, six year old bike, whatever. But, it is how it is. Now, I do want to, you know, promise you all. I am not going to be one of them Harley guys that you've always heard me talk about. And I promise that I don't plan on looking like this in the future. But, with all the comedy aside, let me start this thing up for you all. Because it, it's rowdy. Mm. So, this is the second day of ownership of this thing for me. And, uh... Yes, I have to wear earplugs because this thing is just brutal. Like when you're really just out riding, but it sounds real good. Uh, the one downside is with all this chrome, I actually had to go out and buy chrome polish to keep everything looking good, which uh, it's going to be a hassle. Let me tell you what, it is going to be a hassle. I'm not looking forward to it, but... Either way, uh, yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say about it at this point, but we'll go for a little ride. I'll kind of show you what's up. Um, got this nice backrest for the fiance. It's got a little fuel gauge right there. Got the RPM and, uh, you know, when it's in gear, I'll tell you what gear it's in. 754 miles, so I put 100 miles on it in the day. 84 cents I reset the trip fuel remaining clock and then gear RPM all right let me get ready and then we'll hit the road so uh, before we take off as you can see it has like the heel toe shifter which I've actually got to say riding it getting used to the heel shifter is kind of cool I didn't think I was going to like it when I first got on this bike, but as I 
been riding a little bit. It's, you know, it's been kind of cool. Uh, so another thing that I found interesting on this 2017, it actually has a rear cylinder deactivation also. You can activate it or deactivate it as you're choosing, you know, it just depends on, you know, how you feel, but... So as we are riding, hopefully y'all can hear me over the exhaust on this thing. Uh, as you can see, it has cruise control. Huzzah! You know. That is such a wonderful feature to have. Cruise control. As y'all know, I fawn over it every chance I can get. Uh, but I'll admit, this thing is my color. You know, it just... When I went to the dealership, because I saw it on like on a Monday, and unfortunately because of work, I couldn't go look at it until Saturday, which luckily, even with how good of a deal it was, it was still available, which just was phenomenal. I made me so happy. Because the online pictures of this thing didn't do it justice, because as soon as you like see this bike in person in the sunlight, which it's uh, over uh, eh, overcast day, so you can't see the sparkle in the paint, but yeah, it, it's something to behold, I'll tell you what. Um, so since this thing already has full stage one, you know, like the intake, the exhaust, and tune, like I said, I don't really have plans to do much customization on it yet. Like, um, one thing I have thought about doing is getting the heated hand grips, you know, especially since it's that time of year, it would be quite beneficial to have. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of these hand grips, but hey, that's what the uh, previous owner put on. Like, it sounds kind of crazy, but I kind of prefer just the, like, just the regular black grips, you know, like the rubberized black ones. But... You know, to each their own. I guess it goes along with the bike because it's all chromed out, you know. But. Oh, yeah. So, I did, uh, like I said, about 100 miles of riding on this thing yesterday. And. Uh. Yeah. The comfort, the uh, everything has been pretty fantastic. I'll admit. Finding neutral is not the easiest thing on this bike. Um, I'm getting used to it, you know. It definitely takes a little bit of doing to get to neutral on it, but they say it becomes easier, whatever that means. You know. Well, actually, I'll, I'll admit, this part was funny. They're like, they're like, oh yeah, every Harley's different, you know, even the same model. Some may go into neutral easier than others. And I'm like, huh. I'm like, that's American engineering right there. <laughs> it's definitely not Japanese engineering where all their bikes are, you know, in the same model line are the same. They all work the way they're supposed to and all that good stuff. I do like the self-canceling turn signals, by the way. But so, comparing this to, um, you know, a Japanese bike, I'll definitely tell you the smoothness and the, uh, you know, you know what we all come to expect from Japanese bikes, you know, like the smoothness, the, you know, just, I'm trying to think of how really to say. But like when you're riding it, like it feels like a machine. It just, you know, everything works the way it should. It just, everything just seamless. But a Harley, it is different. 
it's it's different like it's not like just just the way everything works and the way it just runs it definitely feels more as a lack of better terms less refined than Japanese but I gotta admit though it's uh it's a nice change of pace like I'll be honest with you because of the way this bike is the way it drives the way it puts the power to the ground I can definitely tell you I'll end up being a lot safer on this than I am on my Japanese bikes just because like the Japanese bikes they just are so smooth that it's like so easy to go fast where this it's like it doesn't like going fast like you know when I was riding it on the highway 75 seemed like a happy speed you know set the cruise control and just let it do its thing so you know that's definitely something I'm gonna have to get used to but who knows maybe I might actually enjoy it because like you know when obviously you all see me ride this road I'm normally like you know balls to the wall you know just carving it up but there's some just cruising it's uh I don't know it's different I guess it allows me to look at the scenery more and just appreciate nature which let's be honest this time of year riding you know in the fall when it's just you know the leaves and everything it's just it's pretty so funny thing though when I was leaving the dealership with the bike I already scraped the uh, floorboard pretty much like as soon as I left the dealership and I was like wow <laughs> that's gonna be something I don't have to get used to like not having the the lean angle capability like I do on my other bikes which I still have my other bikes I didn't get rid of any which I know maybe shocking to all yes I added another bike to the fleet without getting rid of something <sighs> you know yes can you say that is a little irresponsible? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Slightly irresponsible, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't really got an excuse. Besides, it was a really good deal and I couldn't pass it up. Man, listen to them pipes. Ugh. Gosh, this thing's so loud. Mm -mm -mm. Uh. Mm. And it smells like a Harley too. And what I mean by that is like, it just, there's a smell about them. Like, whether it's burning oil or something like that, we don't really know, but... There's a smell about a Harley that you don't really get on Japanese bikes. Which, it's drizzling by the way, you know. I'm gonna have to re-wipe the bike down. <laughs> Listen to me talk like a Harley guy, be like, oh, I'm gonna have to wipe my bike down, bruh. Yeah. I promise I ain't gonna be like that. Or at least too bad. Like, um, so when I was at the dealership, uh, and I bought the bike. They were like, oh, welcome to the family. And I'm just like, inside, I'm like, ah, I'm still a Japanese guy at heart. But they were like, oh, do you want, uh, you want to get some Harley merchandise? I'm like, <laughs> I'm good. They're like, why not? I'm like, ah, because I, I, I don't need all that. And they're like, well, you need some new Harley gear for your Harley. I'm like, uh-uh, I'm good. I'm good. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. So I took the key and rushed out of the showroom because I'm, mm -mm, they're not, they're not bringing me into that cold. I ain't about that life. I don't want it. I don't need it. Who knows? Maybe I'll be one of those guys that like 
you know what I probably would be like I'll have my like Kawasaki hat or something in like the saddlebag of my Harley and then when I get off take my helmet off I throw in my Kawasaki hat you know just to just to really put the thumbtacks to those guys <laughs> oh god is this trollish behavior I don't know it might be but you know what I'm having fun and it actually comes back to where it's like, you know what? Even though I am a Japanese guy, I like sport, like sportier bikes. I like stuff like that. I'll admit, this thing really is pretty cool. But don't worry, I'm not going to be a Harley guy. This might be my only Harley I'll ever own. Who knows? Who knows? I, I can't say that because you all know me. I, I say stuff like that and then uh, very quickly gets proven untrue. But I digress. I digress. So, uh, yeah. So this is my 500 subscriber special that I got for myself. Which, uh... Yeah, yeah. Quite financially irresponsible, I know. Ooh. I will admit, I do love that loud, just like, just throaty, just pops and stuff that this thing does. And, you know, to be honest, if, if I bought a Harley and it didn't have already all the stuff that is on it, I would have gone Vance and Hind pipes also. Just because, I don't know, like... When I think Harley, I think Vance and Hines. You know, like that's just me. So, interesting thing though. So, when I bought the bike, it came with like the tuner module. So, if I wanted to uh, retune the bike, you know, like differently, I don't have to buy a new tuning module, which is nice. Like, they were talking, they're like, oh yeah. This bike actually has the owner's manual. It has the tuning module. Like, they're like, you know, it's not always common, you know, to get the owner's manual with a used bike. Or, like, you know, the certain accessories that they bought with the bike. They don't normally just turn it in with the bike. Which I was like, all right, I'll have to take your word on it, you know, because I'm more of a new bike type of guy. But sure, that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so, um, it'll be interesting to see what kind of content I make with this bike, but, uh, I'll, I'll definitely tell you, it's, uh, for the first day of ownership, I do like it. I do like it. But as you all know, I have talked about this bike at least the newer ones, you know, when I did the demo days on how I liked the, how I liked it. And the 114, which is on the newer motors, is kind of, like, supposedly it's better, but I gotta say this 103, like, from the stuff that I looked up on, like, this, because it was, like, this is, like, the 103B, so it has, like, a counterbalancer inside the motor, which I guess some of the other Harleys don't have, that it was only, like, on the Heritage Classic. I, I don't hold my word to gospel, but that's what I've seen on a couple random videos I looked at on this thing. But, uh, I'll admit this thing is actually pretty smooth for a Harley. Got idling and stuff like that. And, like, look at the mirrors. They're not shaking or doing anything weird. It's, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Well, on this bombshell of a note, I hope y'all like, subscribe, Pit Bike Mike is...